We're at Yearland's Estates here within Marlborough. We launched in 2008. Our founder, Peter Yearland, said that he wanted to create the world's best Sauvignon Blanc and that he wanted to be the most sustainable winery in the world. That set us up on a path that we've now been following for 15 years. Very much sustainability is integral into everything that we do. We've been Carbon Zero certified since day one and I guess we've just continued on that journey from there. We've got a lot of sustainability initiatives that cover our entire supply chain. So we talk about from grass to glass. So basically from the vineyard right through to the time that the consumer is drinking their wine. Our ambition is to be carbon positive by 2050. So a lot of our activity in the vineyard is around how do we minimize our diesel burn, our inputs, etc., use of renewable energy and that sort of thing. So solar, wind, etc. The other piece is our biodiversity plan. So that's a 30 year commitment that we have to the land. We will plant over a million native trees on this site. You're improving the health and resilience of your ecosystem within your vineyard. But also there's a lot of benefit there from carbon sequestration in terms of planting trees, etc. So that will go a long way to helping us achieve our 2050 ambition of becoming carbon positive. Diesel is our largest carbon emission. We've reduced our diesel by about 30% solely by moving to inter-row cropping. That's had a massive benefit not only from reducing our diesel burn, but the other advantage is that in, in a short space of time, just three years, we've been able to increase our organic material in the soil by about 15%. We take all our grape bark, our skins, our stalks, our pips and compost those down. Anything you can do to add organic material to the soil and therefore your water holding capacity is an absolute bonus. Water is such an important resource for us. We do have 20 wetlands on this property. The water exiting our property is actually far superior to that coming onto the property because by the time it exits it's worked its way through the myriad of wetlands and so forth. We use the vine prunings in a boiler with a heat exchanger on the back and essentially what that does is it replaces our need for LPG usage for heating and cooling water in the winery. So that reduces our carbon footprint by about 200 tonnes a year. So at the moment between our, our vine prunings and our solar panels that accounts for about 20% of our energy requirements but with a new installation going in next year we'll get to about 65%. So you're constantly always looking forward saying well where's the next thing, how are we going to get to the 2050? in our 2030 goals. And everything we do we measure using our carbon footprint because that gives us some facts as opposed to hearsay. The fantastic thing with the Cordeva Awards is A, we get an opportunity to collaborate, talk about our challenges and how we're going to address things going forward, to learn from each other. Everyone's got to be part of the solution going forward.